Hi everybody! Welcome to my channel. My channel is about my health experiences, things I'm learning along life's journey, things that I want to share with you. I appreciate all of you and I thank you very much for your views. The, if you like my channel, please push like and subscribe. I would appreciate any comments. I will answer those. We are all in this to see how many things we can learn about our body and how to care for it. I was going through my things today and I found that we have not done anything on a protein. We need to talk about a little protein that would be easy to get, doesn't take a lot of preparation. And I was thinking of a noon meal, so I naturally thought maybe a salad. Um, the first thing I came to was a, a pink salmon. It is a beautiful, beautiful product to put on a salad. This product comes in an envelope. It has a good longevity. The point 2.5 ounces, so it's one serving, and it doesn't need any preparation. After you make your salad, put it on the top of it. I've had friends do this. It works really well. Excellent product, and it is wild caught. I'm going to digress for just a minute to explain to you why that makes a difference. We need to have wild-caught or sustainably caught fish all, all times that we can because they have more nutrients. They are grown where they can get to the nutrients. The fish grown in farms are grown in places that are too small for them to get anything of value for our body. While they have some nutrients, it will not nearly be what we can get from the wild caught. So we look for a wild caught, sustainably caught, something that is a natural. It's like with our other things that we're looking for for our body. We're looking for the natural, something that will help us because everything is made to work together. Uh, many of the fish that we eat are maybe not exactly um, what we would have liked to have started out with. Um, we have preparation, preparation time. The beauty about the canned fish is almost all of that is done. So preparation time is lessened so much. We are trying to encourage you to eat fish that are smaller. Under 20 pounds has less mercury. If you get into the big fish, tuna, the blue fin, the yellow fin, the albacore, very high in mercury because they are big fish. They live a long time. That's why we don't eat marlin or swordfish or shark. They are predators and they sometimes, some of them live for 50 years. So they're out there accumulating all that mercury. Our bodies do not take well to mercury. The mercury will not even start to dissipate from your body until after six months after you've taken your last bite of something that had it in it. And too much, of course, wouldn't even get you that far. We eat fish for the omega-3, we eat it for the protein. It is a good product, easy in most cases. The canned fish I'm going to show you today are the result of some of my research. If you, I, I am not a medical doctor. I just try to show you what I am doing along the way. And that is what I've said all along. These are my experiences. These are the things that I am doing and the things that I encourage you to try. 
I do not ever dispense medical information. Another one that I found um, along the way was a smoked herring. It's an excellent product. Um, looks beautiful. It tastes good. It's one of the great smaller fish that we're supposed to eat. We have the bristling sardines. Bristling means that they're half the size of the others. There's about 20 in this little can. This is actual picture of them because this here is a clear, this, this is clear here. You're actually seeing the fish. I have the wild caught sardines from King Oscar and it's got a Mediterranean flavor. King Oscar is a very good brand. M many times he has them, things in a different flavor. That's always nice. It's a mild flavor, folks. I've tried this. Have the Wild Planet series. The Wild Planet, these come in a box. I'm going to open one of these and open the box to show you that. It's an excellent, excellent product. Packaged in McKinleyville, California. About 4.4 ounces in a can. They are a little bigger than the little tiny sardines. These sardines here are about three to a can, so they'll be just a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm not real good at these key things that you open the cans with, so I'll try to get it to open up. I usually put it on a flat surface, very break it open a little bit, drain off a little bit of the juice, then continue opening the can. Pull the lid back in one sweep, it'll pull back and it and you can do it safely without cutting yourself. You take the, the you can see these you can see the fish here. Now I can show you I have drained the sardines. I can show you what they look like. You get three in this can. And by lifting it out, you can see the size of them. Very, very nice product. Um, th these are wild caught. They are packaged in McKinleyville, California. This is another one of our wild caught series. It is mackerel. And while we are advised not to eat king mackerel, these are the much smaller mackerel that can be eating it because these are sustainably caught. These um, are still packaged in McKinleyville, California, and it, it will be the same thing as the other one. You open the box, the key, the fish are about the same size. Excellent product. Um, I've eaten these. They're very, very mild and nice. Then we have the uh, same series, the white anchovies. These are a delicacy in some countries. I've not had white anchovies myself, so I'm anxious to try these. They are still done in uh, McKinneyville, California. They still are uh, st sustainably caught. So they have all the things that we are looking for. Folks, the omega-3s are very important that we find in fish because they are much of the time uh, said to help heart disease, help our internal organs. The same as with avoiding mercury. Mercury um, would endanger a pregnant lady her baby, her nervous system, it will endanger our own systems, our kidneys. So we try to stay away from things that are not going to help us out. It is important in food to watch what we're getting. Another one that I have is the king salmon. 
There are four servings in here, so you'll be draining off water, but this one is also wild caught. He's pink salmon, makes excellent salmon patties. You can cook them, just warm them up. You can eat cold, doesn't matter. They are a delicious fish. And then by Bumblebee, I have the little can of pink salmon. This one is small, so opened and drained. He makes fine topping for a dinner salad or something that where we're using the fish for the main meal as the protein of the day. And then we have the little cans of sardines. These little cans of sardines, sardines in here are pretty small. Um, most of them are packed in uh, different things. You got the soybean oil, you have mustard, and you can find them packed in water. It's your choice, folks. You can drain all those things off. I'm going to show you the must. I will open one and show you the mustard because it's hard to drain off. You kind of have to just take it off if you want it off on that one. This little one still up here, I know it's hard to see, but it is sustainably caught. And this is a little mustard sardine. So you pull the key back. I lay these flat when I do them at home so that I don't cut myself. Pull them back. On this, why I wanted to do it, I wanted to show you, there'll be a little drain juice there. I wanted to show you the difference there. You can lift off some of this mustard if you don't want it. And you know, you can always put some extra virgin olive oil or something on there and get rid of them. But it's not an unpleasant taste. I, I usually take some of the mustard off. It's, it's still a, a delicious fish. Uh, he is sustainably caught even though he's in a small can. I have brought you a few things today that I have found when I was out shopping. And a few things that I use in my own home. These are things, folks, that I use when I need a quick protein. And I really appreciate not having to go cook it up right at the time. They make a quick meal. Uh, the ones I brought to you, very good. There's other real good ones out there. Uh, trout comes in a similar little can. You can buy that at another store. I wasn't able to get a hold of one this time to bring to show you. But it does come like that, just a small little can of trout so you don't have to buy the whole thing. You can have just a good taste and then, then we're happy for another month. I appreciate your watching. Thank you. See you another day.